it's your favorite podcast. It's Bang On from Y'all. The Reckoning with Reasoning. With your host, Legendary G. Me up me up me up me up Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Vanguard from Yard The Reckoning with Reasoning I'm your host, Legendary G So on this episode of Vanguard from Yard Dela Thames, aka Leah Caribe shares a bit about her latest project, Energy and the undeniable adversities that comes with following in your path especially as a female entertainer We talk legacy influences and also the main issue that's affecting female entertainers. Leah Caribe, reggae dancehall singer-songwriter from Mandeville, Jamaica, attended the Belair Proprietary and High School and later went on to Hampton School for Girls. During high school, Leah had strong passion for arts and sports where she won various awards. She's influenced by her mother who's a professional classic singer. Leah's main goal is to take her music worldwide. She's been in the game since 2012, but got her buzz when she did Na Madova No Man, a counteraction of Munga Anaroga's hit song. Her releases include Name Now Call, DM, Girls Time, Roll Up, Rude Boy Loving, Control, Not Talking, two collaborations with Christopher Martin, Show Them In The Lazy, and If The World Was Ending, All Year featuring Razor B, and Uppy and The Clockwork Rhythm. She has worked with a number of top producers, in the reggae and dancehall arena, including Robert Livingston, Big Yard, where she resides, Suku from War 21, No Rush Records, ZJ Chrome, New League Music, Marlon Easy, Just Easy Productions, World Tremor Music, Frank Music, and A Team Lifestyle, and that's Usain Bolt and NJ. And now with her recent efforts, Energy, produced by Grammy nominated producer Triton of Triton Music. So, ladies and gentlemen, Leah Caribe. <laughs> Girl, it not look good. Dear in, dear out. You just run up your mind, like so, and I have nothing to show. Leah, take them to school. So, welcome, Leah. Hi, right, thank you so much for having me. Yes, man, give thanks, man. How are you, by the way? How are you? <laughs> it's been a while. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I've been good. So Leah, I just want you to um, tell your story and take us back to some of your early influences and how you knew you wanted to become an entertainer and what role did your mom play in the genesis of it all? To be honest with you, I didn't think I was going to be an entertainer. I thought I was going to be a track star. (laughs) Whoa. Yeah. (laughs) But um, in about the seventh grade i had music class and the teacher asked me to we had to write a song and yes. ever won the competition in the class would get to go to a recording studio to record it Whoa. and i wrote the baddest song ever <laughs> <laughs> <Bab>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and yeah i went into the studio this was in mandible i was at attending Air high school at the time Yes. And um, my music teacher, Mr. Works. Yes. I got in the studio and it just felt amazing. Like, and the thing is, at that time, I wouldn't say I knew I could really sing, honestly. But it's like writing the song and having to sing it in the class. Like, yeah. everybody was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> And it's funny because even then, um, being in the studio, I loved it. I really did. Um, but I still didn't think I really wanted to become an entertainer. You know, it took me till about a year later. Uh, I went to a stage show. Well, not really a stage show, but a little show in Mandeville. And I just saw everybody performing. And I was just like, I really want to be on that stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and ever since i just been getting at it <clears throat> because like i said i wanted to become a track star and i was really yeah. good i was champion girl for all of the years at my school nice. but i didn't like working out the, the how my body was becoming like <laughs> to 
was like, uh, I was getting really muscular. And yes. I didn't, I guess I didn't love it that much at the time. Yes. So Understood. I gave up on it. So how, how did your mom influence you as an entertainer, as a person, as an individual? Okay, my mom herself um, is a singer. So, as I said, growing up, I never knew I had a voice. I never really sang like that. So <laughs> she didn't know that I had a voice either. Um, but when she heard it, she was very motivating. You know, naturally, as a parent, you'd want your, your child to finish school and become a doctor, a lawyer, have a, like a set, a steady, steady, steady um, work life. And I didn't give that to her. And she's she wasn't disappointed. She loved the movements I've been making. Um, I went to Canada for a tour. She came with me and my mom nice. was in the front of the stage <laughs> <laughs> with a whistle. I just remember her with the whistle as she was running across the stage. <laughs> And the time that I went up, I would say um, this is when the people are really just uh, coming in at the event. So I'm just yeah. my mom, just see her, she's just all over the place. And you know, she up to this day she supports me. She comes yeah. around the studio, she knows all of the, the people that I'm around at the studio and it's like a family. Yes, nice. Yeah. Number one supporter from day one. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> But what was your experience like performing for the first time on a stage? Very nerve-wracking. I was just like, what the hell am I doing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I need to go home. One thing I can tell you, performing in Jamaica is completely perf different from performing in Definitely. a foreign country. Even if you're not as good as an art of an artist in a foreign country, those people really give you that support really really do and in jamaica <laughs> one crack one little mistake one flop vibes and them they're straight boo so definitely i was afraid of you know experiencing that in my own country but i didn't go on the stage it was really nice yeah you know <laughs> nice to be, nice to come back <laughs> experience okay. so 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 overwhelming like i love i love being on stage and and you're right about that jamaica is the toughest crowd ever in the entire world <laughs> jamaica is the toughest crowd yeah toughest so crowd countries ever. that i have been to to perform <laughs> jamaica, crowd. tough tough definitely tough. which entertainer you saw perform on a, a platform first a stage and say you know what you know me can do this honestly um, when Destiny's Child came to Jamaica uh, for what, some fest, I was probably yes. like seven or six, <laughs> one of those ages, and my dad had me on his shoulder, and I was rising in front of the stage, and it was just so crazy seeing them up there just <laughs> dancing and everything, you know, like for an international artist. Yeah. I think that's what I keep going back to and um, wanting to, 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 to be like, and for Jamaica, I can tell you it was Conscience. Conscience was probably really one of the first people I've seen perform. First, first, because I didn't really, uh, I wasn't allowed to go to a lot of stage shows until I got older. Which so, right. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> I saw Conscience and then moving along the years, you now I, I began to see like Bounty Killer and Spice and, you know, Christopher Marty, like, listen. It's just crazy how yes. um, <laughs> they love the stage <laughs> and I just wanted to love the stage just like yeah. that. Too. Talk to us about some of your songs, some some of the songs that you, you know, you still listen up to today that reminds you of something, happy moment, samba moment, it doesn't matter. Some but, of my songs? Yeah, some of your go-to music. Um, Would definitely be, I did a song years ago, years and years and years, like years. I wasn't, I didn't even call myself Leah Karibi at the time. I was still Dahlia. I, I did with Masika. Um, it's called Baby You. That was one of my first, first recordings. And I keep listening back to it because it just shows me like the growth <clears throat> for me to this day. You get me? Because yeah. that time recording that song, I was so nervous and I shot my first video for it. Like that song is really, really, really personal to me. So I keep listening back to it just to, you know, say yes. Yeah, Leah, yeah, yeah, you really, you really come a long way. Like yeah, if, right now, if you type in on, on YouTube, Dahlia, Dahlia Music, 
Who <laughs> sees some stuff? Who <laughs> sees some stuff? Because sometimes I'm just here, like looking at the screen, like what in the yeah. world? <laughs> One thing that always pull me to your music, though, there's a level of honesty in your music. I don't know if enough of your fans pick that up. That is what I love most about artists, and that is what I missed most. You know. Yes, we are telling a story nowadays, but it, it's too raw. It's not tailored in a particular way where, you know, you get the message. Directly. You get everything. Yes, yes. you understand this stuff. That's, that's one thing I like about you. You're always, you always, there's a, there's a little sauce of, you, you know, truth. You. If you listen, you'll get it. You understand? Thank you. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. And I personally me love your, your reggae music. Anytime you go reggae, there's something yes, different. I, there's I, something I, special happening. I get that you know? a lot. Yeah, anything. Love your dance hall, let me know. But me, I tell you, the reggae songs them, them really, I say something different. Talk to us about some of your mentors in the game, though. What are some of your mentors? Christopher Martin is who is my currently my one of my only mentors as an artist. Um, Robert Livingston, because um, I'm down at Big Yard Studio, so. Yeah, man, big up big yard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, man. Big up big so, yard, man. Big up big yard. This <laughs> is Martin. Um, he, he really gives me the best advice. Yeah, man. Um, when I'm recording, he's in the session. Um, we write together the whole vibes. You know, make sure that, as he said, like <laughs> what we're putting together makes sense clean and nice and just vibes. It. I have to big up Chris for that because um, it's just my small little team, Chris Martin, Kamal, my engineer, and we just build together. <laughs> yes, man. that's a good vibe, you know, yes. bless up Chris. What's your outlook now that, you know, living with COVID and um, you see how COVID affect the entertainment industry? What's your outlook as an entertainer? Well, at this point, <laughs> I don't even... <clears throat> I know if COVID is gonna go anywhere, you get me. I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. But I am vaccinated, and I probably, um, unknowingly, probably caught COVID yeah. like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but I just feel like it is. At first, you know, um, the entertainment life is really nighttime. And, you know, oh, it's there in the dances, in the streets and, you know, everything. You know, for a while, it's like, you know, yeah, everybody kind of gets in a little rest, rest your body. Yes. You know, but it's really becoming to affect me, you know. You want to go out there and just promote your song, then you want to get back the dance hall live, you know, you want to we'll have like a show at Jamaica now again and, mm -hmm. you know, make everything just build up back. I just feel like it's time to free up the country again. Honestly. <laughs> Is I feel it, like it, it's time. It, and, you know, they, they speak about like who COVID would really affect, you know, um, elderly or if you have some serious underlying issues, yeah. then stay inside. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've known more than 50 people that have COVID and nothing is wrong with them. Nothing at all. It's it's they, a strange time to live in, you know? That's it's just it's time. just it's just at this point, as I said, it's not going anywhere. No. And I just feel like we need back the country, we need back the vibes. Everybody knows to be in Jamaica for dance hall and reggae. You know what I mean? And we can't have that, but a lot of other things are being done. You know what I mean? Yes, definitely. If you want to go out, better you just go to a hotel. <laughs> it's, still, it's still open. <laughs> oh my God. Well, it's a collective responsibility of all of us to it ensure is. that we, we look out for our brothers and sisters. It is. It traversing. Is. You know what I mean? That's why I feel like if you're six, stay at home. Yes, I, I feel like we've gotten like a little push start where. Yeah. You know, um, you do have some little events here and there, but it's just this curfew thing is just really, really, really something. Because you know, I, I know it, is, yeah. a lot of artists <laughs> prefer to work, like go to the studio at um, after hours or, yes. you know, in daytime, in the days, I guarantee you, <laughs> everybody is sleeping. And yes, we like about four o'clock, boom, <laughs> studio. You know, I know it <laughs> and then the problem is to leave the studio after hours now police can't reach home yes so <laughs> i just feel like 
Yeah, cre- creatives are getting a raw deal. Yeah. Yeah. Get a raw deal. yeah, creatives are getting a raw deal and we can't grow on that. Yeah. yeah, man. All right, Leah. So, Leah, um, I want to zoom in on some of your achievements from your side. You know, what are some of your achievements in terms of music and popularity? Okay. I would honestly say um, when I did the Munga counteraction. Yes. Yes. I got a, a really, 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 one of my first nicest little buzz. <laughs> and um, from then, people start to know me. That's where I started to get my own personal bookings outside of Jamaica. And that, that was probably one of my biggest, biggest. And then um, when I worked with Usain Bolt on the clockwork radio, for the Uppy. Um, Uppy. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a piece of Uppy, Leah. Give me a piece of Uppy. <laughs> Him love how me look all and neat and pretty flow stacks, body nice. Boy, won't put me in a lunchbox. Pick <laughs> me up it, some girl a top it. Them big old star in a Ghostbusters. Me look all and pretty. Me full of vibes just like Miss Kitty. Me name na call all over the city. <laughs> me up nice. it. Me up him, up him, up him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the boy can't talk with him. <laughs> yes, Leah. Yes, man. Are you Leah Caribe? I don't know your vibe. Yeah, man. So, yeah, that definitely Munga song, Now Man Over No Man. Yes, that definitely. Yes. I laugh when I hear your counteraction because it reminds me of what the essence of dance are, you know, where we're coming from. Yeah. It wasn't so much of a cantankerous thing, but we could, we could, you know, play around with the music, yeah. with art, and was received in a, in a fun way so you know hopefully we can get back to some level of you know sanity of so course what kind of legacy you I want to leave our you know footprint you don't want to leave in this industry I want to say industry don't just look at the industry industry but look oh you don't want to impact your fans and people you know that love Leah Caribe I love Leah I just want them to know that I'm always a positive person I'm always a happy person. I'm always enjoying myself, no matter what. I could be depressed as hell and on the road and you wouldn't even know about it. I want people to just always remember me as happy and such a good energy. Have good energy, good vibes and just keep it there. And I hope that that um, shows in my music. Yes, ma'am. You know, so when they listen to my song, they say, yo, you know this, this girl, yo, she bad. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us about that new track that you, I, I saw you, I know it's not released as yet, but you, you give you a little bit of listen, It basically released, you know, because I'm telling you, um, like, Triton probably sent all of the DJ them already because it's oh, a nice. mashup. Nice. <laughs> you, know, you know what, Leah? You see them rhythm there, them them that them dance rhythm there, them 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 fit there. You, know? you, yes. you have a thing with them rhythm there. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Keep the vibe coming. I love it. It's, it's, I love it's, um, it. Triton Music uh, production. It's funny because the rhythm was already at Big Yard because you know Triton is always there, so the rhythm was already there, and I heard the rhythm and. Boom, magic. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Yeah, Charlton didn't even know I was recording on the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't know. And yeah. uh, my engineer called him and said, Yo, Charlton. <laughs> and Charlton was at the gym, and then all of a sudden we just see him appear in the studio. Yeah. Said, Yo, Leon, it's bad. <laughs> yeah, man, big up Charlton, man, general. Yes, man. <laughs> yes, bad, man. Yeah, man. So that brings me to what you're currently promoting, and I think that that's the song and you're currently promoting. Yes. yes man. What, the what's song the name is of it? Called Energy. Energy produced by Triton. So any upcoming shows, tours, anything you can tell where your fans can just tune in and you know see Leah yeah. live. Um, I'll be in Mar in Canada in March. I don't have the full details as yet, but I will be there. Yes, man. Definitely. So far, I know everything kind of been slowing down, but it's getting yes. back up again. All right. So what's your social media handles and, you know, where your fans can reach out to you? Yeah, man. Um, Instagram is I am Leah Caribe. That is I-A-M-L-I-A-C-A-R-I-B-E. And um, anything else is Leah Caribe Music. YouTube, nice. Leah Caribe Vivo, Leah Caribe. <laughs> 
you yes, look funny. Yes, ma'am. You're the only layer Caribbean. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> yeah. And she up in. You can't miss her, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, Lee, I love the vibes. All right. So um, what kind of support system do you think female entertainers need in this industry? I think that the female entertainers need each other. You know, I think that you see like how the, 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 the male are so connected with one another i feel like females need to stop this bag of feelings and um hate this a girl and judge this a one like i feel like as females in the industry all of us just we just need each other simple simple we don't no nothing else <laughs> Nice. Because uh, yeah, I, you're I, right. You're right. At Big Yard, I'm the only female really over there. Yeah. You know, that is there like um working every day. You know, people yeah. will come to Big Yard and book sessions and stuff, but I don't have a lot of females around me. Yeah. You get know I me? Mean? Since being in the industry, a lot of the older entertainers are not really nice. <laughs> I've experienced that they're not yeah. really nice. I can tell you Cecile is very, very nice, right? She is very, very nice. Big up Cecile. Um, big up Cecile. <laughs> um, the angel is a very, she's very nice. I met her, I don't, she probably wouldn't even remember me, but I met her once um, at the studio and she said, me, yeah, artist, and like she was so yes. nice and talkative. Yeah, I can right. tell you who's yeah. mean though, but I'm not even gonna get into that. Yeah, topic. yeah, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, but the angel is a nice person. A lot of people would know that because she a dance a lot, and she a do her thing. Yes. But if you, if you meet her, then you get nice. a different. Yeah, man, yes. a nice person. Man. Yeah, man, big up the angel. All right, so we expecting energy for you from Triton Music. Yes. Yes, man. And um, anything else we can expect from Leah for 2022? A whole lot of things. A whole lot of things. A yeah. whole lot of things. We're working, yes. working, working. When we get in an album. Hmm. <laughs> the amount of song that I have put down yes. can create an album, you know. But honestly, I'm not sure as yet. Yeah, it's not putting really some work. Sure. I just want to push some singles and get myself fully, fully, fully out there. Yeah. Because you know it's been <laughs> years, but we just continue. Yeah, man. And when continue. the time is right, you drop a nice, nice album. Yeah, man, which is right. Yes. Well, thanks for joining me on the Vanguard from Yard. It was, you know, nice seeing you again, even though it's via internet. But you don't know. I <laughs> wonder you fan them. You don't know anything from way back when. So, yes. yes. And big, yeah, up man, big up Slip Mouth. The clothing line Slip Mouth. Big them up. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Definitely Slip Mouth. Big up. Yeah, man. All right. So, Leah, Caribe, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Yes, man. Give thanks. <laughs> All right. That's it for today's episode. Join us next week for another exciting episode of Vanguard from Yard, The Reckoning with Reasoning.